Hi friends, it's Lynn Como, and today I'd like to go over um, some really helpful tips when it comes to this really beautiful stamp set, which is called Sprigs and Leaves. It's $19.95, and we're also going to combine it with the stencils. So you can see the stencils here, and they're only $6.95. And we're going to show you exactly how this works and a couple of tips on um, knowing which pieces go to what leaves. So here is the stamp set and you can see there are these really pretty leaves and then the bits that go inside that get stamped inside. So what I've chosen to do is take a, um, you know, a Sharpie and just point some arrows to the stamp that corresponds the interior leaf that belongs to the leaf itself. And this one goes over here. So I'm just doing these two because it's really helpful to me to have that done ahead of time. And then this goes with here and this goes with here. So you can pretty much figure that out. But once you realize that these two belong together and these two coordinate, you can figure out that this and this will coordinate as well. Now, when you stamp all of it together, these are the leaves. So you have these three sprigs and these two little ones. And there's also the guts or the bits that go inside as well. There's also two flowers and there's also berries. So you can really have fun maybe for a holly kind of look or adding berries to the leaves anywhere you want to stamp them. So right now I have these stamped in mocha. We always stamp in black, but it's kind of nice to change it up to stamp in black, uh, brown or green or a different color that's dark enough. And now we can apply our stencils. Because these are open, you're not going to have any color inside the leaf unless you stencil. So let me just show you basically, this is this bit right here belongs to this. And basically all I'm going to do and just line it up and stamp the interior. So I'm using mocha right here. So you can do this to all of them. And then you can play with color. Now let's talk about the stencils. You get two stencils. And what I wanted to do is show you that the one that's the open one, I'm calling that my, my uh, number one stencil. And I seem to always lose my stencils when I'm working. I don't know if it happens to you. So I decided to take some shimmer tape that we sell and just tab it at the top. So I think I can spot that because when I'm looking at the table, this is just disappears, but that yellow will just pop out. So maybe that will work for you, some kind of tab at the top, but something that's not too thick that interferes with stenciling. The other thing is I wrote, um, I also wrote top on this one because you want to know which way your, <coughs> excuse me, your leaf goes, right? So if I had this the wrong way, I'm not going to line up my stencil. So that's why I wanted to know which was the top so I could find the leaf and line it up and stencil it. The other thing you're going to want to have is a bunch of masking tape on hand so that you can mask off the other areas so you don't interfere with the work that you're doing. And you'll see that all of these work, this whole stencil, so this does the complete look of the stencil, right? So it's going to do this whole look. So here's an idea for you. So I've stamped this one in Harbor. So I'm going to show you this, how I'm doing it. I wanted to show you that it's just stamped. And by using this stencil, I've created just a full leaf, no lines or anything. Then I went back in and I stamped my image, the bits or the guts inside the leaf. So now I want to show you, I'm going to add the next layer and stamp as well, just so you can see it. All right. The colors that I am using right now, Harbor is my ink for this, the, the leaf itself. I'm sponging right now Limeade. This is a new color. And then I'm going to add Jade as the accent color. Now you can do fall colors. You can pick and choose your colors. And speaking of fall, let's talk a little bit about those colors. There's honey butter, there's sundance, there's melon, there's papaya, there's the new pumpkin, 
paprika, scarlet. For greens, we could do the limeade, the pine, the rosemary. For browns, we can do toffee, we can do mocha, we can do espresso. So you can see there's lots of colors that you can work with when you're sponging in these beautiful leaves, sprigs and leaves. Now, I, I kind of like the idea of using them um, also like for the fall in the background behind my pumpkins, uh, maybe alongside my leaves and things like that. So think about where you want right. to use them. So let's just show you the limeade. So here's what I'm doing. First of all, you're going to take your blending brush and we're going to line this up. I'm going to take the top, right? So you can see, I just want to show you how I got this started. And then I'll show you the jade. So you match that up. I'm going to use my masking tape and move it around. So if you want to use a lot of masking tape, go right ahead. If you want to just use it bits and pieces and move it around, you can, but I can do actually all of this together. All right, limeade, where'd you go? Oh, it's right here. And I've got my brush. And you can wash these brushes, by the way. You can definitely um, put them underneath water. So this is exactly what I'm doing here. Now you can change this out to be whatever color you want. That's what's so cool about stencils. And you can make it lighter or darker. So you want to make it a little darker in the middle. Okay. Now you can just go ahead and stamp the interior right on top. I have to look over it a little bit to see. And call it a day. And you don't have to do anything else. But I wanna show you, I'm going to add that last layer of jade, okay? So we have jade, and I'm just going to use the same brush for now. And now we wanna find the next layer of our stencil and guess what I found it because I had the yellow tab on it it really made a difference so now you want to find the stencil that works well with that so now I know I should probably mark the stencil which one this goes to maybe I could put a number on my leaves one two three and then put one two three on here and that will make a difference in finding this quickly I'm going to use my masking tape All right, so you're feeling good about where you have it. And I'm just going to go with the jade and add that other layer. Okay, so that's good. So you can see how quick and easy it is. It really does go fast. Put my finger over the other one. Okay, and that should be it. So now you can see that look, right? And now you can actually go in and add your stamped images. But you know what? I think I'm gonna try it. Let's try it in um, Jade first and see. This one's in Harbor, and now I can do this one in jade and that's really beautiful so now you can see the, how it works right you have your simple design layer one of stenciling layer one stenciling and then the stamped piece on the inside this is exactly the same thing but here you can tell my ink is a little bit brighter so when you stamp on top of the stencil it will be a brighter color. and then the last one we decided to add some jade color and jade uh, bits instead of the harbor um, you can play around and that's what I like doing here and so you can see I have um, paprika and toffee are my colors here 
and the outside image, I think I used espresso and toffee was the bits. This was fun. This is a little bit of honey butter and uh, limeade. Might even be sunset, actually, uh, Sundance and limeade. And then this one is really playing around with the richer tones, the darker tones of fall. This is actually rosemary and pumpkin. So you know what? There's so many combinations and you can just have fun and layer a stencil over and over and over again. So let's just look at this one for a quick second. Hey, I found my stencils pretty quick. And I wanted to add, say, I want to go over that Sundance now. And that was the same one, right? Yes, it is. Okay. I'm just going to take pumpkin just to show you how you can have a little bit more fun with the stencil. And I'm not going to mask it. I'm just going to save some time right here. And maybe just in that middle. And that really can change the look by playing with your colors and just combining them and not making them just two colors, but you kind of uh, make an ombre look when you actually play with color and add a little bit more detail. The other thing that I wanted to also mention to you is about cleaning your stencil. It's super easy to do. You can just take your chamois and wipe it. And the other set is um, right here. So you want to be careful because these are really thin and kind of wipe alongside it so it doesn't tear. Mine have not, but it's just letting you know that, you know, you want to, you want to be gentle in how you clean it. But it is really very, very easy to do. You just take your, spo your sponge like this, your chamois and you wipe along the edges. And you know what? I wanted to let you know that if you decided that you wanted to do a couple of colors, since you get two of these stencils, you could do one of them, say, in the Honey Butter or Sundance, then turn this way, and if you wanted to go a little deeper in the pumpkin or paprika, you could use this stencil so that you wouldn't have to clean them. So you're getting two stencils of each of the stamps, which really gives you a little more versatility as far as adding color. So that's another great tip about these stencils, and it, they both work the same. So you'll, you'll note you'll get two for each, so you can definitely add more color quickly and easily without having to clean your stencil.